Hello, this is Mark Gibson. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video that I'm posting today. I want to take an opportunity while we're kind of all kind of sitting around a little bit to kind of introduce you to our new portable liquid flow meter called the PT900, which is the third generation of this portable liquid flow meter that Panometrics developed a number of years ago, uh, back when I was uh, starting in uh, 1997 with the PT868. So it's interesting how technology has changed and what I want to show you is how, how well that's changed and how awesome a product this is. So I'm going to flip this around and show you the installation real quick. Okay, so here you can see that we have the transducers installed on a piece of pipe on my pool equipment. This is an inch and a half PVC line, schedule 40. And here you see the two transducers, as well as the clamping fixture. It's got a couple of arrows there that you see. Not only is it for alignment, but I like to use those to kind of help me with direction of flow so that I know which way things are going when I'm uh, out in the field and clamped on to this. So we take this, we follow the cabling over to this transmitter. And this transmitter here will connect Bluetooth to my tablet. So what I'm going to do is show you how this connects. So here we've got uh, the opportunity of these pieces here. So we're going to connect to the transmitter itself. Click the button. We saw that it went from red to blue. So now we are connected. I'm going to click next. And now we've got a few choices here. So what I want to show you here real quick, hopefully I don't move this too much. But here we're going to set up channel one. So when we get in here, we do have the opportunity to choose the pipe that we wish to use. In this particular case, we are using PVC. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click on that. We also have the pipe size in place. As you can see, it's an inch and a half, but the actual outer OD is just about two inches and there's our wall thickness. So once we program the pipe, we come in here and choose the liquid that we wish to use. Then we can come over here and we pick the transducers that we use. And when you select the transducers from the drop down, in this particular case, we're using one megahertz transducers. It should show you a picture of how the transducer looks so that you can, uh, so that you can determine that with what you have in your hand. Then we come over here to placement and it tells us where to put the transducers at the spacing that we saw over here on the clamping fixture. So with that said, we're going to finish wrapping up the programming and we're going to go to measure. Here's where we've chosen the things we want to look at. We click OK. And now I'm going to kick on my waterfall. Let's see how this responds here for a second. As you can see, we got an instant reading here as this ramps up. Response time is pretty quick with this, uh, with these new transducers. Have a little bit steeper launch angle, get a little more power into the fluid. So we've hit about 82 gallons <clears throat> per minute here, which looks like it's fairly stable already. And as also you can see, we're not in error any longer. Do have some choices. You can do the multiple like we have here, or you can do a single. You can also look at uh, an overall look for totalizer if you had that in place. And then also we look at our diagnostics. <clears throat> so let's look at those real quick. And here you can see with the diagnostics that we have, we have nice little green check marks there. Should anything be out of the ordinary, you'd see a red uh, check mark beside that, and that'd give you something to go track down to see what's going on. But you can see how fast this does respond to the measure. So we do also have logging capabilities, information about the channel, or transmitter rather, and then we also have a, a full help section that you can go in and look at and uh, get some information should you need that. So we're gonna go back up here and look at measurement one more time. Again, we go back to the full 
choices here. You can look, you can actually put up to about six on that screen. But you see our, our response here is moving pretty good. I can also change, I don't really want to see that decimal that much. I can also change that from three to one to two, press okay. And now I'm down to just looking at gallons plus the tenths. And this is feet per second. <clears throat> and then here's our volumetric. I can do the same. Choose one, choose okay. And bang, we're back down to taking the measurement. And you can see our sound speed is working well. So while we watch this, I'm going to turn off the waterfall. You can see the water is draining from the pipe here and slowing down. Kick it back on, watch it move back up to its uh, state that we had. So here we are in about less than 10 seconds, we're back to a number uh, that was uh, very repeatable from what we had before. So anyway, so that's kind of a brief uh, picture synopsis, if you will. Do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. If you got any questions, look me up here. You can respond to my email anytime. Again, do appreciate it. Have a great blessed day.